we all know who fanboys are. Fanboys are the type of people who will tell you that Halo was a bad game, that, you know, Killzone is a bad game, or that Metal Gear Solid 4 is a movie or a bad game. Now, to be fair, there are some people who genuinely don't like Halo 3 or Metal Gear Solid 4. There are just some people who don't like those types of games. But for the most part, people who don't who say they don't like these games are just dumb fanboys. Now, I group... Well, just because someone likes a certain console or a certain video game, it's not quite fair to say that they're a fanboy. So I've kind of, at least in my mind, I've broken uh, fans for a console down into three different categories. You have the fanboys, who are just like idiots who don't use any logic, who will support their console and their company no matter what. <coughs> Excuse me, I still got kind of a cough. I swear, man, this cough's not going away. It's like those annoying fanboys. No matter what you say, no matter what happens, they don't go away. I mean, on certain <clears throat> on certain websites, you can still find like old ass Nintendo and Sega fanboys arguing about the Genesis and the SNES. I mean, those consoles are ancient now, but you still find people arguing over them. <sighs> but anyway, if you go down from a fanboy. <coughs> Uh, you get an enthusiast. Now, I would kind of consider myself a PlayStation fan, or maybe a PlayStation enthusiast. I don't think I'm a fanboy. <coughs> but an enthusiast will pretty much tell you, um, okay, I like this console, here's why, and I think you should get it. Because I think you would like it. But they do have some logic. They don't just support a console. Like, a fanboy might just say, my console is the best, all the other ones just suck. While an enthusiast might say, well, you know, the PlayStation 3 has Metal Gear Solid 4 and Uncharted 2, two of the best games to come out in the past 10 years. You know, a fanboy might just leave a long list of games. It's just like, oh yeah, here's every PlayStation 3 exclusive game. You see, there's a little bit of a difference there, like, the enthusiast, and the enthusiast doesn't tend to, like, hate the other consoles that much. And then you have probably the most common group, although you don't hear about from them a lot on the internet, because they're not that loud, they're not that... When I say they're not that loud, I mean they don't, like, leave comments on videos, they don't troll, they just like a console. They are just a console. <coughs> they are just fans of a console. You know, they basically say, oh yeah, I like PlayStation. I mean, if that's all you really do, then you're a fan of the PlayStation. You know, they might say, oh yeah, I like the PlayStation more than the Xbox. You, you could still be a fan and say that, if that's all you say. So, a fan... Basically, just a fan likes a console. So, <coughs> yeah, they, they just like the console. They're not too obsessive about it. They just play their games, and they say, yeah, the PlayStation is cool. An enthusiast would take that to another level. They would kind of say, oh, yeah, the PlayStation is really good. I think you should probably get the PlayStation. Yeah, it's a good console. I think you'd like it. And then the fanboys are probably even though they're the fewest fan of them. Like if you look at the size of the groups, the fans are probably the biggest group, then the enthusiasts, then the fanboys are the smallest group. But the fanboys <coughs> the fanboys will troll and say things like, Oh, the Xbox has a failure rate of like fifty two percent, it's terrible, it should be banned, it's the worst console ever. Or, of course, uh, Xbox fanboys will say, will say things like, Oh, Metal Gear Solid's a movie. Uh, it's going multi-platform now. Final Fantasy XIII was their only good game, and it went multi-platform. You know, and then... And then there are Wii fanboys, who... You won't find a lot of Wii fanboys in my videos, because I don't normally talk about the Wii too much. 
but they definitely are out there. And the Wii fanboys will be like, they're normally all about sales, because that's really all I think the Wii has. I'd say, when it comes to the Xbox, I'm a PlayStation 3 enthusiast. Like, I will tell you to go buy the PlayStation 3. <coughs> I will tell you that Metal Gear Solid's a great game. I'll tell you Uncharted 2 is a great game. I'll tell you to get the PlayStation 3. But when it comes to the Wii, I hate to say it, but I'm kind of an anti-Wii fanboy. Because, you know, don't even get me started on the Wii. I think it has bad games, bad graphics, bad online, bad value. You know, it's like it's like when we talk about the Wii, I cross over into being a little bit of a fanboy. But the Wii fanboys do have some, a little bit of a point. <coughs> Doesn't mean the Wii is outselling every other console, it must have done something right. I don't know. And it's kind of hard to hate Nintendo. I think a lot of hardcore gamers will kind of, will kind of realize what I'm saying here. It's kind of hard to hate Nintendo. No matter what Nintendo does, you kind of remember, you know, they've done a lot of good things. But anyway, that, that's not what this video is about, though. <coughs> this is about a fanboy, an enthusiast, and a fan. So, kind of think to yourself, what category do you think you're in? Also, I, I didn't think it was fair just to have, like, a fan and fanboy. I thought there needed to be kind of a gray area in between. Because, <coughs> you know, there are some people who aren't really fanboys, but they really like their console. So that's why I included the enthusiast category. Uh, anyway, you know, just tell me, do you have, like, little categories that you sort... Well, this might, this might sound kind of bad, but that you sort people into? Like, and also, do you, do you think to yourself, you know, is this person a fanboy or not? I mean, like, I would ask myself that. Okay, sorry, I don't really know why that happened. Uh, I just ran out of room on my hard drive, so I had to go delete some old video clips. Anyway, like I was trying to say before... Wait, is it running? Yeah, okay. Like I was trying to say before, um... You know, do you ask yourself, when you come across some idiot online, is this person really a fanboy, or <coughs> or are they just, you know, supporting their console? Because I know I do that a lot. Like, I ask, well, wait a minute, does this person mean to be a fanboy? Are they trolling on my video? Should I just delete their comment? Or are they just supporting a console? Which, you know, I mean, you're allowed to support consoles, just I don't want there to be like a gigantic flame war going on in my video. Although, mm, even if there is, I might not care. I might just be like, eh, whatever. You know, I don't always feel like cleaning up the comments section of my videos. But anyway, yeah, so I mean, I ask myself that sometimes. Is this person a fanboy or not? I don't normally ask myself, okay, is this person a fan, an enthusiast, or a fanboy? That That's a little too in-depth to just do with random people on the internet. <sighs> but this just kind of lets you know how I break it down in my mind. Like I was trying to ask before, uh, how do you break it down in your mind? Do you really think about it in your mind, or do you just go off and attack anyone who likes a console that you don't like? I mean, what do you do? Leave a comment, trying, or, or a video response, if you think that might work better. Uh, just trying to explain how you think of this kind of stuff. Anyway, please rate the video. Please, if you're not a subscriber, check out my other videos. I make a lot of videos like this. I also put up uh, videos where I play music. And uh, consider subscribing. And thank you for watching. Have a good day. Peace.